We want to share with you something extraordinary happening in our community. We were allowed to spend a day with a doctor at Phoenix Children's Hospital to show you how they are taking medical care out of the hospital to the streets to care for kids who are often overlooked. My name is Dr. Gary Kirkless. I am a general pediatrician at Phoenix Children's Hospital. Working here in this sort of environment, you have to be tough. You have to be a little rough around the edges. So I'm pregnant, and um, I got kicked down the stairs. Is the baby okay? The baby is okay. I was in foster systems uh, for a good portion of my life because of my parents passing. I'm going through stuff with my stepdad, so I can't live in the same house with him. I could be a pediatrician anywhere, but it's with this department that I'm able to reach people who have no access to care. A rare opportunity. We are taking you on board PCH's medical mobile unit. Traditionally, patients go to a doctor's office. This office goes to patients. Everything that I'm used to doing in a normal clinic, I can do here. What you see is a fully functional 85-foot pediatric clinic. We have a triage room where we, the nurse would be able to get blood pressures. And when you're inside, it looks no different than than a, a regular pediatric office, but of course, you know, we're on, we're on wheels. So we prepare to roll out. Hitting the road, Dr. Kirkless isn't just the doctor, he's the driver. This doesn't seem like something you'd learn how to drive in med school. Not, not at all. My, uh, my dad always makes fun of me. He says, I send you to four years of medical school in order to learn how to drive a bus, so, uh, but it's fun. Depending on the day, the mobile unit heads to various shelters and even schools. And you see a lot of kids that are homeless. Yes. So I'm going to schools where the, the, the kids at the schools are either at, at or below the poverty line or who are homeless themselves. Um, shelters for girls who've been sex, who've been sex trafficked. Uh, shelters for uh, teenage pregnancies. Part of the job when pulling up in a mobile unit is not knowing what challenges the day may bring, which often goes beyond medicine. You know, maybe the generator's not working, uh, maybe the toilet backs up, uh, maybe we get a flat tire, and so that all comes in within a day's work, and so you can't just, it can't just be a roadblock for you. You have to kind of think out of the box and say, all right, I have this problem, how am I gonna make it work? Today's stop, home base. A group home for young people who have aged out of the foster care system with nowhere else to go. Before coming to PCH, Dr. Kirkbliss worked in a practice he compares to a conveyor belt. One patient after another, appointments as short as seven minutes. Now, the quarters may be cramped, but the visits are longer, often 30 minutes or more. So Bradley, how's it going? It's going great. Bradley has been getting treatment for insomnia. How has your sleep been? Um, it's actually been a lot better. Good. In the big picture, this may be the only medical care these patients get. So doctors don't just want to treat what's wrong, they want to find and fix the source of the problem. I do want to get you into counseling too, because I think sometimes the, the stresses that we have in life will also affect our sleep too. This holistic approach changed Bradley's physical and mental health. They've made a, a very big difference in my life, because without them, I, I would be very tired all day and probably very depressed too. <laughs> so if you didn't have the doctors from PCH helping you out, what would you do? I would be in a very bad headspace and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be very happy right now. <laughs> but you're able to laugh right now. Right. A number of kids staying at home base who use the medical mobile unit agreed to talk to us. Um, it's hard to go out and go to a hospital sometimes because they don't take the insurance that we have. And this place is easy to get to. 
It's, they come right to us. It's, I appreciate it so much. I don't like doctor's offices. I don't like a lot of people. And the fact that the med van is mobile, is, I really like that. With what some of these kids have been through, um, do you find sometimes they have trust issues? Yes, definitely. I mean, you were, we're talking to patients who have been dealt with some really rough cards in their life. You know, I think I've been doing this long enough that they can kind of see that I'm genuinely concerned about them, um, that they're able to open up, and it amazes me all the time how, how open they are and the things that they're, they're willing to tell me. For young people who have often spent their lives being overlooked, it's a change Hopefully just not. to have someone's <laughs> full attention. Uh, they're really open and you can converse with them. They're really chill. Uh, it's, it's like having a conversation with a friend. Do you feel like they care? Yes, definitely. It's nice to have that. Yeah, it's, it's new. It's not something that you really experience in a kind of style, lifestyle like this. They look you in your eyes and everything else is just, nothing else is around. They just pay attention to everything you say. And what kind of difference does that make to you? It makes me feel like somebody really cares. <laughs> but like your health and your safety and stuff like that, like they're not here because of the money or anything. They're here because they really care. And care comes at a cost, but not to the patients. No one is turned away. The team often helps patients sign up for insurance, and PCH can call on a network of partners throughout the valley. What do you do when you encounter a health problem that you're just not equipped to take care of? It, it happens quite often. Um, so we, and fortunately, uh, with this job, I've, I've become to be a little bit of a, of a social worker and a case manager. Um, so I'm able to use contacts with Phoenix Children's to get them into specialty care. The care on the mobile unit isn't just from PCH. It's from the community. The cost to run the mobile unit, from the gas to a stocked pharmacy, is partly paid for through donations. A support needed and appreciated more than the people who give will ever know. Yes, this is something that the community pays for. What does it mean to you? People who, who can do that are, are honestly godsends. What would you say to people who give their money to make sure you get health care? You know, not many people, you know, everybody goes through stuff. You know, not many people take time out of their day to think about the unknown, to think about us and just put money so that we're okay and that we're getting checked up on. I would just really thank them. I can guarantee you that if you give to those who are unfortunate, you will feel like a million bucks. After seeing the impact community support makes for the mobile unit, I sat down with the man who heads up fundraising for PCH. Steve Schnall says community generosity is why the hospital can provide world-class class care and a number of programs would not exist if it wasn't for donations. We are recruiting world-class physicians who come to Phoenix Children's Hospital and they will not come without the knowledge and the commitment that philanthropy donations will be there to help them build world-class programs here. Uh, technology happens because of philanthropy as well. All of these things exist because of the de generosity of our incredible community. What's the one thing you tell potential donors? Make an investment in a child and Phoenix Children's Hospital, change a life forever. What's the one thing you tell potential donors? Make an investment in... So if child. you would like more information on supporting PCH, we have a link on our website and also on our mobile app.